Hello, Mr. Sellers. Like the park is more space than Janice. Now, I was actually trying to think of something clever to say there, but I've clearly failed. But anyway, back with Engineers here, and this will be a quick video because this is a rather simple thing. But uh, despite all the huge amounts of uh, bases that I have made, uh, mobile bases that I've made, I've kind of gone back to basics, at least for a time. Uh, and really, really, yeah, I suppose I've just been uh, not, I haven't had any kind of mad inspirational moments as of yet, but... Uh, this great, this little thing you're staring at right now is, well, the names and the title uh, of this ship. But um, at the end of the day, we all need cargo ships, right? We we all need ships that can move things from A to B. Usually, that's in the form of mining ships, uh, and then some degree of like uh, like a refining ship, if not like a, a a space station that you can like refine stuff on, you know, things like that. And and also, I've not done any like vanilla creations in a while, but this. This is just a very simple cargo ship. I'm not going to go too much, uh, too crazy into it. I'm not going to like fluff it up and make it sound amazing. You know, it is a vanilla creation, so you know anyone could use it if they uh, if they ever need it. And yeah, there's not much to say. I mean, like I said, I I have got a few ideas in the works for like other sort of more grand projects, I guess. Uh, but well, due due to I due, due to me having another mini depression breakdown yesterday, I've my mind's a bit elsewhere. Uh, as of late, and uh, like I said, I'm not gonna, con I'm not gonna like drag any any of you, uh, my audience really into my own problems. My problems are my problems. I'll deal with them however I can. Uh, so anyway, let's just quickly get inside this ship and show you what's going on because it is very simple, all in all. Because it is mostly just a huge amount of cargo, pretty much. Like how many, how many cargo pods are we talking about here? Uh, we have 20 large uh, cargo containers. So yeah, quite a lot of storage. Uh, more than enough, I would hope for you know an average survival, uh, things like that. But I mean, this this amount of cargo would be, this kind of ship would be good if you had like a, uh, uh, what what would you call it, like a, an asteroid cracker style mining ship. So like a really big uh, ship that can make a lot of, um, well, eat a lot of ore, I suppose, or like generate lots of stuff and you need to be stored somewhere. So if we get inside, it like I said, very simple. There is not much to uh, to say really here. Um, in this particular instance here, we got a couple um, oxygen containers here. I've actually kind of buried these things in the wall. Uh, behind these, like bits of metal here, are the cargo containers. And yes, it is it is pressurized. Pressurization's a little bit of a finicky thing with this ship, but uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, air here, little turret. Uh, this ship is actually unarmed on the outside. Like it's, it's pretty much a civilian ship if you want to think about it that way. Um, the actual pilot seat, which not that you can really see much, uh, to be honest. There are gyroscopes also hidden in the walls. Uh, but, you know, it's a cargo ship. Uh, it does, does not have to look too interesting. Uh, the weight uh, without cargo is about 1.1 million kilos, so it's got a fair bit of weight to it, but it's not too crazy heavy. Uh, so if we double back... I mean, this ship is more than capable of running with just one crew, but uh, but perhaps you need either a co-pilot uh, or you are just... Maybe transporting a couple of, of uh, uh, people as well as uh, the cargo itself. Uh, so we actually have a couple of um, a couple of cryopods there. So you could even um, you could even jump into the back there. Actually, I'm pretty sure somewhere I do have a remote. Con I'm pretty sure I have a remote control, so you should be able to at least have this thing on autopilot. I cannot remember. Now in the back here, it oh there's the re there's the remote right there. Uh, this is the engineering section. Now you you would have noticed um, that we have an airlock, and in here it is not pressurized. Simply because of where all these uh, reactors are located, it's pretty jam packed in the back here, and this is really meant for maintenance. Um, so hence why there's not really um, you know there's no air pressure in here, and it is just cramped as it is. And and you know one you know one thing I really keep forgetting to put uh, in like my ships in general uh, is a jump drive. Like maybe maybe I'm just quite maybe I'm just used to the fact that I always run with like a flight speed mod, so I'm pretty used to flying around the you know to flying around engineers at at either what was it I think the one I have is about 500 meters per second for small ships and over 3,000 meters per second for large ships. I mean that that is some crazy amount of speed. You you can you can literally get from you know between planets in record time once you've accelerated to such speeds. Although I would say that uh, flying into an asteroid would be a bit of a problematic experience at that speed, but I would say one thing, I wouldn't rely on this, uh, but physics itself breaks down at those speeds. Um, meaning I've actually I've actually had my ships uh, driven it, like into an asteroid at such speeds, the game will lock up for a minute, 
think about what to do, and there's about a 50-50% chance that, I, that I'll either just explode, or I phase straight through the asteroid and I sustain no damage, pop out the other side and continue my journey. Although, we, I might have been... the asteroid might sort of like slow you down a little bit or knock me off course slightly, but all in all, no damage taken. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, the inside of this ship. I may as well give this thing a quick fly around without, um, without cargo here, so one thing I will actually just do is go into uh, there, remove that waypoint so I'm not getting myself confused. Um, so, yeah, so if I show you acceleration, acceleration of the ship is respectable. Like I said, this is without uh, cargo, so pretty um, pretty decent in terms of forward, accel uh, forward acceleration. Deceleration, uh, I actually did alter the thruster pack on the front here, uh, just because I, I did actually have it mirrored at, at the back as well as the front. Yeah, so I altered that. Uh, deceleration is definitely not as fast as acceleration, but it is still respectable. Oh, I also have some lights at the front if you ever need those. Uh, in terms of gyroscopic performance, uh, it is respectable. So if I just spin it around to the side, you kind of get my get my point there. Same with same with vertical performance. You know, it's a cargo ship. It's not going to be super crazy fast uh, in whatever it does, and well, just. Turning around at speed is a little slower, but then the side thrusters are not as many, and as you can kind of tell, it takes a while for the ship to adjust. Uh, and it goes without saying as well, this is a space-only ship. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say for this ship. D don't worry, I'll have better... Uh, I'll have more interesting ships in the, in the, in the pipeline at some point. Um, you know... I've already said I had my I've got reasons <laughs> reasons for doing things that I do and don't do things that I do and uh, well yeah there is all of that so yeah like I said let me know what you think of this random shit down below in the comments uh, link to the workshop link it will be in the description as well I actually will put this up on the workshop because well you know even though this thing ain't pretty you got to think about it you know we all need we all need a cargo ship at some point so you know I'll just throw this one in there and you know you could either use it or blow it up or throw it into an asteroid I don't know <laughs> do whatever you want with it um, so yeah link to my discord if you want to say hi to me is also in the description as always and yeah you all know the drill by now so thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video